Ladies and gentlemen, as an Arsenal fan, I am absolutely buzzing. Welcome everybody back to another video, another objectives guide. If you guys don't know how these objective guides work, I go over all of these objectives. I give you guys my tips and tricks on how to complete it. And the most anticipated part, we build you guys a squad builder that you can use. If this video does help you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Without further ado, boys, let's get straight into it. So starting off, we've got assist free goals from crosses in a live foot friendly premier play. We'll have a look at the premier play foot friendly in a second. Now this Bukayo Saka is 100% straight away going in my main team I'm gonna be running him as like a as a right mid in a 3-5-2 or a 3-4-1-2 he's gonna be very 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 good for the 3-5-2 players and obviously if you are an Arsenal fan you have to do this yeah I, I'm not claiming you as a fellow Arsenal fan if you do not do this objective so the assist free goals with crosses can come from corners can come from you know normal crosses which is by pressing square on the PlayStation or X on the Xbox now there's nothing to confirm this but I mean I can confirm this but I can't confirm every day different variant of a cross but I know if you were to do like a double cross so if you double tapped cross and it's just like a little mini lobbed past that does indeed count for a cross I'm not too sure about early crosses and stuff like that but I do know from experience it's worked for me so it can be any variant of crossing it doesn't have to be just a normal cross it could be an early time cross by, by pressing right bumper plus cross at the same time it could be a double tap lobbed cross something along those lines as long as you're assisting him whilst pressing the square slash x button you'll be sorted Scored five finesse goals using players with at least a four-star weak foot in the live foot friendly premier play quite self-explanatory You also do get an icon swap token towards the new tots token system Win four matches in the live foot friendly and score using English players in ten separate matches premier play Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a premier play objective But from what I've seen so far I feel like this is a game mode that'll be very beneficial if you were to do golden goal in Just because if you have to score in ten separate matches you can get that done with maybe within an hour or so now premier play you need at least seven premier league players at least three clubs and at most one loan quite self-explanatory lads let's get into the squad builder now the squad builder as well first of all if you're building the squad i would search your club for premier league players there's no like gold rear like requirement on it or something so search your club premier league filter have a look what you're working with um, and then go from there. For example, I could use my Pope, my Silver Lads. This account doesn't have much crazy Premier League players. But for the sake of the squad builder and for those of you that may not have an extremely big budget, I'm just going to build you guys a squad between maybe 20 and 30,000 coins. A cheap meter Premier League squad that you can use. Right boys, so this is a squad we have gone ahead and built. Now the reason we've gone for a 4 3, -3 is because you've got that right wing and left wing option to try and get that cross. That's why I'd personally avoid using a narrow formation for this because of a 4 one 2 one 2 second variation or a 4 3 one 2 you do not have those wide options to get that ball into the box. So we have gone for a left wing and right wing formation. Left wing, we've gone for Luis Diaz who was obviously originally a left mid but he can just play on 8 or 9 chem, no worries at all. Now 5 11, high medium work rates, 4 star four star really good pace solid shooting and some excellent dribbling up top we have gone for ollie watkins so was most likely i say most likely he is the most important player in this team he may not be the best player, but he is 100% the most important player. He's English. You need to score in 10 separate matches with English players. Um, not only that, he's got the 4-star weak foot. You also need to score with 4-star weak foot players. And also, he's got 81 hitting accuracy, 92 jumping. So you need to get with the crosses. And obviously, using a bloke that can jump and header it in is going to be a whole lot easier. So he's going to be more useful for crosses. He gets the English goal. And he's got the 4-star weak foot. So this card, you want to try and score with in every single match you play. He is a main man we're building the team around as i said he's definitely not the best player in the team but he's the most important right mid um slash right wing we've gone for leon and bailey a very good pace four star four star very solid shooting and passing with some excellent dribbling to back that up for midfield three we've gone for oxlin chamberlain another four star four star card we've got plenty of four star four star cards our whole attack is four star four star and for oxlin chamberlain so if you score one of them lads it will you know count as a four star weak foot goal but these high high work rates five foot nine really good balance of 87 very very solid a well-rounded card now in the center of the park, we have actually gone for Fred, 5-7 high high, another 4 star, 4 star card. Uh, obviously all around we all know he's been quite meta in past FIFAs and this FIFA with his good agility and balance. Right center mid, we've gone for a heavier type of guy, so you could, might want to play him in a more defensive role, you could play him in a center if that's what you want to do, but we have gone for Decore. He's not the fastest of players, but he's got some great defending and some excellent physical, and you'll get the job done. High high work rates as well. To defense, we've gone for Hassan Kamada for Watford. 
Watford, Joe Gomez for Liverpool, with Nathan Ake for Manchester City, Frederick at right back, and we have gone for Eduard Mendy in the nets. Now, as you can see, we've got at least seven Premier League players. We've got 11 Premier League players, to be exact, and obviously they are from at least, was it three clubs or something? Got Villa, Liverpool, United, Everton, uh, Watford, and Man City, West Ham, and Chelsea. We've got eight different clubs here, so it's more than enough. Now, my tip number one, boys, is going to be full up for bench. Now, there's no requirement on Premier League players on the bench. I don't think so anyway. So you can just chuck your main your, your, your main players on. You can have up to three subs per, uh, per you know, game as well. So you could sub on a at left mid and play him over Diaz. I could play this in game. I could sub on Lam for Decore if I wanted to. Could sub on my Socrates or Moments Burkamp. Something along those lines. It would work absolutely perfectly. Now, tip number two, lads, is actually going to be Golden Goal. Now, I mentioned it earlier, and this is 100% a game mode you'll be able to get Golden Goal done in. Now, Golden Goal is an unspoken community rule. Basically, if you score first, your opponent will pause and quit. And if you concede first, you'll do the exact same. As you can see, you just need at least seven Premier League players at least three clubs and at most one lone player there's no like time limit like you know with the, the team of the season cup objectives uh, it was like three minutes a half it was split in time nothing like that so i don't think there's no reason you can't be doing gold and gold in this game mode you want to try score with your english player obviously the wins will come naturally but score five finesse goals with players with at least four star weak foot obviously is your ollie watkins or for that matter you've got loads of four star weak foot and the assist three goals from crosses now the assist three goals from crosses i believe are not in separate matches as well they are not in separate matches so if you want you could get all three of these crosses done in a single match you'll find sometimes if your opponent scores an English goal, he'll just jam his controller, he'll put a rubber band on it. Take advantage of that and try and get that uh, get the crosses done then. Because it doesn't have to be in separate matches, so you can get three crosses done and probably tick off the hardest challenge within one game. Another tip you could go with for these crosses is you could message your opponent and say, Hey man, I'll let you get three crosses if you let me do the same and then we can play out from 3-3 free free and play it like that. Um, obviously if you do that, get an Xbox or PlayStation app on your phone, pause it, get your opponent's game attack and flip him a copy and paste message asking him if he wants to do you know goal for goal get each other the crosses happy days because you don't have to win the matches you have to win four matches but they'll just come naturally especially if you are doing the golden goal rule now golden goal isn't a necessity i think it's called a necessity there we go you don't have to do golden goal if you don't want but i recommend it it speeds up the process so so much like you could get 20 games done in the time it would usually take to play three or four full games it speeds up the process not just for you but for your opponent as well now lads we're going to head on over to the last and final tip of the day we're going to head on over to the handy dandy footman over here now this tip is going to be chemistry styles now let's take bailey for example now especially if you're not using a crazily good team like the one i'm using in this video chemistry styles will be very beneficial for you we're just using footman as an example but let's say you chuck uh, let's say you chuck a marksman on him with a marksman he gets a plus eight shooting a plus nine dribbling and the plus six physical and he goes to an 87 rated left wing if you can see right there so although he's 82 rated he's going to perform as if he's 87 rated in game that's the power of chemistry styles you don't have to go out and buy the hunters for your attackers and shadows and spend thousands of coins search your club for chemistry styles see i've got 39 nothing crazy a sniper there we go i've got a sniper so i could simply apply a sniper onto my watkins it'll give him like a plus 10 shooting a plus i think plus six plus seven dribbling and it'll make him feel so much better in game compared to if he didn't have a chem style lads this is going to be a relatively easy objective obviously i think if you get the crosses you target ollie watkins in every match it'll be absolutely no worries at all we're going to go over the objectives one more time just to recap what i've gone over but as i said these are relatively simple the assist free goals from crosses you can pause it chuck your opponent a message through a playstation or xbox app um, and get them done in the same game or if your opponent does jam his controller you can do the same score a finesse goal is right bumper plus shoot you want to try do that obviously with your uh, ollie watkins diaz Bailey, Oxlane Chamberlain, or Fred, they all got the four star weak foot required for that. Win four matches in the life foot friendly, which you'll just get, especially if you're doing gold on goal, and score using English players in 10 separate matches. As I said, he may not be the best player in a team, but Ollie Watkins is the most important. Hopefully, this video did help you guys out, and I'll see you guys next time.